back to the right side. Macy here, the right side girl, and today we're doing my June TBR. Still doing these. <laughs> I'm so bad at TBRs, you guys. But I just, I like the idea of hope and, and something, you know, to kind of look back on and see what I've actually not read and read. So I'm going to do something a little different this time because I think I've only read like two books out of my May TBR, which I only had like five, so it's not that bad, but... I think I'm going to talk about a few audiobooks that I plan on reading in June. Usually I don't because I include them in my like spring and summer to be listened to videos, but I'm going to put them in here so I don't put too much pressure on myself. <laughs> so there's that. So here's what I plan on trying to read. Okay, so first up we're going to talk about Betrothed by Kara Cass. I may be getting to this in the end of May. I don't know if I can hold off. I'm going to try and hold off until June just so that I can like binge this because I know I'm going to read it really fast, but possibly reading this in June or sooner, but definitely very soon. Slayer by Kirsten White. Pretty sure I'm going to listen to this on audiobook as long as their narrator is decent. I really want to see if I like something else from Kirsten White because I've only read one of her books at this point and I've met her and I feel like that's a shame. I know the second book is out too, so it might be a good time. Buffy the Vampire something. Finally going to get to The School for Good and Evil book three by Simon Shinani. This is about school for good and a school for evil, and it's middle grade. It's super magical. I really love it. I've been meaning to get to this for months now, and I keep putting it off, and I don't know why, but it's going to happen in June. Not a drop to drink and in a handful of dust. So these are on my books to read to see if I actually like them. I've read this one a couple years ago and really didn't like it, but I read it with Jeff and I think my husband, and I think that we kind of like picked it apart more than I would have by myself. Um, and there were some elements that I liked about it. Like I like Mindy McGinnis' writing style for the most part. Just the main character was kind of boring and the concept of the book wasn't entirely accurate. It was kind of like in a world where water is scarce and there's this girl on a farm and she's kind of like guarding her water source. But it was like less about that than I was expecting. But the second book is following a character from this book that I really enjoyed. And this one is more of like a apocalyptic survival because they're like, I think they're like traveling um, to a different location. And so they're kind of having to like survive on the wild, which I'm really into because I want to do like survival reads. So probably again on audio, but I wouldn't need to reread this one because it's been a long time. And then lastly, I'd like to get to at least Replica by Lauren Oliver and hopefully Ringer as well because I recently found that one. I don't really know what it's about, but I know that it's cool and my friend Claire liked it and I know it's told from two different perspectives. I think it's dystopian. So we have Lyra's perspective and you can read hers like to the half point, halfway point, or you can read Gemma's perspective to the halfway point, or you can read one chapter and then the other. And just that concept alone seems really cool and really exciting. So hopefully I can get to this one. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna hold myself to. Let me know if I should still do TBR videos even though I only read like one book from them. So unless it's like mermaid themed or Halloween themed, then I do a little better. <laughs> I will probably be having a mermaid marathon uh, TBR coming out as well sometime soon. So yeah, let me know if these are still fun to watch for you guys. <laughs> and I'll see you next time on the bright side.